Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard from the BTN HD, and yes, uh, part 11 of our 12 part series dealing with MDT 2013 and deploying Windows 8.1. Uh, and today's video is pretty simple, so let's get started. Uh, this video is all about WDS, Windows Deployment Services. As if you've been following, all my MDT videos that I've been doing for you guys, and uh, I love pushing out my image or my golden image or whatever you want to call it through Pixie booting because it's a little easier. You're doing it through the network. If you have a high uh, dense network, you're able to push out this huge image to multiple machines. If not, you can always do an ISO and burn into a DVD and do it that way. Later on, I'm going to show you guys how to do that. So let's get started. First thing that you need to do is let's go inside our server manager and at the very top let's go to manage and we need to add a role and a feature. Uh, once you get this nice little dialog box, I normally just click next. Uh, it's going to be a role based or feature based installation. Next, uh, select your server. Uh, by default, it's going to be the one that's going to be selected is the one that you're on now. So we're going to click on next on that and on the roles, you're going to go all the way to the bottom and just select Windows Deployment Services. Uh, you get a nice little dialog box saying that these are the things that you need or these are the things that's going to be included with the installation. Add these features and just click next and click next and click next again. And I normally need the deployment server as well as the transport server. Um, checked off so just leave those two role services enabled and click next nice little confirmation this is really up to you if you want to restart the machine but I normally don't restart it until I add uh, my WDS server to the console and we're gonna click on next okay so installation is succeeded and we're able to close the dialog box and I'm gonna close the server manager and um, Let's get into our start menu or our metro menu or whatever you want to call it. And let's type in uh, Windows deployment so we get this nice little box right here. I'm going to right click on it and I want to pin it to the taskbar and let's just click on it and open it up. Uh, let me expand this dialog box for you guys. And right now it's not really set up or it actually is set up, but you're going to get a nice little exclamation point saying that it's not configured. Uh, by default, you're going to get the server that you're installing this WDS on appear here on, underneath the server node. Uh, so we're going to right click on it and we're going to configure the server. Uh, you get a nice little dialog box. Uh, we're going to click on next. Uh, it's going to be, I like to have, this is kind of new. I think this popped up in server 2008 R2. Uh, WDS is able to integrate with Active Directory. I like this feature a lot, so I normally... Uh, have this checked off. If not, you could do a standalone server. It's really up to you. But for this video, I'm going to do it integrated uh, with Active Directory. Click next. Uh, by default, this is where it drops the remote installation files for the Pixie Boot to work or the WDF server to work properly. Uh, best practice, the way I like to do it, is put it on a partition, not on the primary. But again, this is a testing environment. This is a virtual machine, so I'm going to leave it as the C drive. Okay, uh, click on next, and it's going to say the volume selected is also the Windows Server. Again, WDS kind of tell you that this is not really best practice, so move it. But I'm going to keep it. So hit yes. Now you're going to get the Pixie Server initial settings and respond to all computers from known and unknown. This is what you want. Uh, if you're really tight with security, uh, you, you actually require require an administrator approval for unknown computers. I normally don't do that a lot because again, I'm managing everything. Uh, and, and that's just more of a hassle if you need to like type in a password or approve a bunch of machines every time. So I'm gonna click on next on that and just let it configure. And we're back, yes, it's finished. Operation is completed. I normally don't add uh, images to the server now, so I uncheck that and hit finish. And if you get that nice little green button, you're good to go. Your WDS server is up and running and it's talking throughout your network. Uh, if you try to pixie boot a machine and it doesn't work on your LAN or on your network, that means you either need to talk to your network administrator or your a network administrator yourself and configure your 
uh, switches. So the next step that you want to do, guys, is go inside your boot image folder. This is where you're going to be putting your your MDT boot images in. So when you pixie boot on the network, you're able to pick a 64-bit or 86-bit image and the one of those images will start the process of the MDT stuff. So we're going to right click and we're going to add a new boot image. Uh, for the file location, we're going to browse and we're going to browse to where those files are at. Uh, I think they're in computer. Uh, if you guys have been following, I dropped my deployment share there. And you want to go to boot. And within the boot folder, you got two light touch PEs, a 64 bit and an 86. I'm going to start with the 86 first and we're going to hit open. We're going to go to next. I'm going to leave it as is, but you guys are able to change the description as well as the image name. I think whatever you change here is what you're going to see during the pixie boot. And we're going to hit next. And we're going to hit next. And we're going to let it add it. Awesome. So it looks like the 86 WIM image is already boot, um, imported into our WDS server with no problem. So I'm going to hit finish. And you're going to basically do the same thing with the 64. You're going to right click on the boot image, add a boot image, uh, browse. It's going to automatically go to the last place that you were in. So that's easy. 64 is the next one. Open, next. Give it a name, description is up to you. Hit next, hit next, and just let it do its thing. And that's it. It looks like a 64 bit. Web image is important with our WDS. Uh, what I like to do as best practice is I like to right click on the server and just go to all tasks and just restart when I import a WIM image. Again, when you guys are making any modifications within your WDS, uh, actually on your MDT server, um, or any major updates, Try to replace or update your WIM image with your WDS, okay? Sometimes it, it kind of acts a little weird. So if you make any major changes on your MDT, update your deployment, and then go into your WDS console and then update those WIM image. Okay, so the next thing is what? Basically saying, hey, BJ, is it going to really work? So let's test it out. So what I'm going to do is uh, I am going to create a new... Uh, virtual machine. So I'm going to go my start button. This is actually on my host. So I'm going to just minimize this so you guys can see. Uh, this is my host. And I am going to go into my D drive, VMs, create a new folder, and I just call it uh, BJ Pixie. BJ Pixie, right? And I'm just copy this path because this path I will be needing. Let's, I'm going to open my VM workstation, go to file, new virtual machine, next. Next, it is going to be a Win864. Hit next. Uh, let's give it the name BJ Pixie and give it the location. Next, I'm going to give it a small size because again, I'm only testing out the Pixie booting throughout my network to see if this virtual machine talks to my Pixie boot setting, right? And then we're going to hit next and we're going to hit finish. Okay, so if everything works well, I'm going to power the, this virtual machine. I'm going to try to get in, and I believe it's F12. There it goes. And it's talking. I need to press F12, and there you go. There you go. So my, uh, whatchamacallit, my WDS is working through my network. That's excellent. Again, I'm trying to figure out, I'm trying to remember what you need to do on your switches. It's been a while that I did with switches part. But if I remember what you need to do, I will post it up at my blog site and leave the link at the bottom of the description for you guys to go check out. But it looks like our WDS server is working. Um, those two Win boot images that we inserted are there. And the last part is actually deploying our Windows 8.1 on part 12. So hopefully you guys enjoy this 11 of 12. If you guys want me to do part 12, our final series uh, episode, leave a comment below and let me know if you want me to do it live or not. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.